Hey friends, Darren here and I am buzzing right now. Not only am I about to fly off to LA, I've got all my packing here, but I've been given access to a limited beta feature, which is the new Adobe Express AI Assistant. Now, this is a limited beta and I will put a link down below to the premium option where you can try it while spaces are available. But let's dive in and take a look at this new AI Assistant. And when you come to the Adobe Express homepage, you're going to see this new option up here, which is the AI Assistant, which, as I say, is in limited beta right now. We can turn this on and that's going to take us to this new AI Assistant beta menu. Now, there are a couple of options here. We can either choose to edit a template or edit an image. In this video, I'm going to show you the image editing options. OK, so we're going to upload an image. So here we've got we've got our image and it's going to give us some prompt ideas down here. We can change the image, the way it looks, the way it feels. We can also apply a, a drift animation to the video. We can add all sorts of other things. We can replace the background with a textured wall. Let's have, let's give this one a go. And there we go. It still looks like I'm in there. But instead of having the wooden benches behind me, I've now got this textured wall effect and it just looks like I'm actually there. Okay, let's try this prompt. We're gonna change the t-shirt into a formal shirt. And there we go. I now look like I'm on my work break <laughs> from the office, but the, all the creases here kind of match my arms and it just, for me, this is amazing. Considering this is in limited beta right now, just the way you can change this is really good. And if we do come back to the home page of where the AI assistant menu is, we can see here, once we've clicked on the edit image option, we've got all sorts of other prompts that we can try. So let's say we want to apply a vintage film effect. So there we go. I've, it's now applied that vintage film effect. It actually even gives us a few different options here that we can adjust. And we've also gives us the option to change the intensity of this and it's all there it gives us the controls we want now let's say we want to go back to the normal adobe express option we just come up to the button up here and then we can turn that off and now we've got our normal menus and options where we can add text but if you wanted to do something again in the ai assistant you just turn it on and then you can just say on here turn this into a movie poster about a man that drinks too much coffee okay and it's given me some options here of fonts and text and we can go in and uh, uh, change the text this is all the directors and stuff like that it's also given me some other options down here everyone has their breaking points okay and it's given me a font that i could use um, and they've named the poster or they've named the movie the coffee addict um, so um, you know we've got all sorts of things that we can do here we've also got the options to edit the page if we want to and as i say if you do also want to just go back to your normal adobe express options you can come in here click on the text change the fonts Go to all your normal options there inside of Adobe Express. Now, a couple of things to note on this. This is a limited beta and it's available on limited beta for a uh, an, an amount of time for people that are on a premium plan. And if you're not on a premium plan already, I will put a link down below to that. And also, as it is a limited be beta, do expect some little bugs and quirks and things like that it's there right now to go and have fun with it and provide some feedback to the team over at adobe express so there it is that is the editing a photo and also i'm going to be doing a video on doing the the template side i've got so many ideas for this new feature of the ai assistant inside of adobe express so make sure you click like and subscribe for future updates and until next time thank you very much and bye for now